So my name is Heather McCormick and I am the Youth Media Program Director here at Somerville Media Center. Um, so I run uh, vacation camps, uh, summer camps, uh, and after school programs um, year round. And this was the first time we've actually done a photography camp for a, a week of vacation, like a full week. Um, we had done a digital photography class in the past that was pretty popular, but um, this is the first time in a while that we've actually tried to um, teach a photography class here. And this, um, doing it as a camp, so being here all day, nine to three, every day this week, um, has really been um, a fantastic experience. Um, I think it has been way more successful even than the classes that we've done in the past, mostly because we've really gotten to dig deep into the fundamentals and the technical aspects of photography. Um, so this digital photography camp, Youth Eye View, um, we really wanted to empower young people to understand how to use um, you know, professional camera equipment on manual mode. So actually being able to set, um, you know, all the individual exposure settings um, and understand the theory behind it and understand the composition um, theory of how to create um, really strong photographs. Um, and here in our youth programs, we really emphasize like it's good to learn the rules so that you know how to break them. And I think the young people here really embrace that this, um, this week. Um, they were very experimental, um, very thoughtful about their photos. Um, we had the opportunity to go to the Boston Common and the Boston Public Garden and we learned about doing nature photos and cityscapes and landscape photos. Um, yesterday we actually had a, a blast just being in the main studio. We set up um, portrait studios um, so we created sets um, that the young people got um, to design themselves um, and put on cool costumes and pose with different props. Um, and then also we did some nice like moody photos outside in the rain. Um, so it was really cool. I, I just was so blown away by how um, by how talented um, all the young people we have here this week are. Um, there are 13 of them, 12 who are in the camp, and then we have a, a youth intern, uh, Brayden, um, and then myself and Denise Pimentel, who is a volunteer here. Um, have been teaching the class and Denise is amazing as well like this could not have happened without her she really is a she is a photographer so she um, knows a lot more about the technical aspects of photography and also how to market yourself how to create a portfolio all of that stuff um, and so it's been really great having her here to help me out with it um, but overall this is one of my favorite camps I think that we've ever run I think it's been just fantastic to see um, you know, youth who started out the week maybe have never having moved off of auto settings or maybe never even holding a DSLR camera before now have a full gallery of edited photos. They learned how to use um, Adobe Lightroom to do their editing. Um, and so they got to make the choices. They got to create captions and descriptions for every photo. And now we have an entire beautiful gallery um, here at SMC um, for the next month where you can come and see the photos that they took. Um, and again, I'm just, I'm just overwhelmed with, with the amount of talent and patience also that it really requires. I mean, these are young people aged 10 to 14, um, you know, sometimes get a, a, a bad rap in terms of being able to be patient and work together. And this is just not, it's just not been the case. This week has really been, everybody has been exceptional, really working to help each other out. Um, and I, you know, I find that that tends to happen at these youth programs because, young people are really engaged in what we do and they care about it they're passionate about it we don't really have a lot of behavioral issues people are ready to um, to push themselves here and to support one another um, so I feel very grateful to have been able to 
run this camp this week. Um, please check out our young people's uh, artwork for the next, or their photos for the next um, month. They will be here at SCAT TV. We also have a website um, that we will be um, uploading all of their photos to. Um, we also created a Somerville Youth Media, Somerville Media Center Youth Media Twitter, so SMC Youth Media, so we'll be posting some stuff up there and also on our Facebook page. Um, so definitely check it out. Yeah, nobody comes into it. Yeah, oh, binders. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yep, you guys are going to go. Um, I thought it was really fun. Mm -hmm. It was a good experience. I, um, my friend, her mom is a photographer, and we all used to get, like, really annoyed when she takes pictures, but it's actually really, really fun. After you um, get to, like, know how to do it. Well, I... My dad has like this phone and it can do a lot of things. Well, not all of them, but a lot of things that like the camera that you're using right there can do. And um, like I'm always taking pictures, but now like we actually get proper training with pro proper cameras and like it's really fun. And, yeah. Cool, what was your favorite parts of the week? Um, yesterday we went to the Boston Common to get um, good pictures and that was really really fun there was a lot of interesting um, things to take pictures of. Yeah my favorite was also probably the Boston Commons because there's a lot of like opportunities to get like landscapes or portraits. I, I'm the same as them but like I really enjoyed taking pictures of the ducks. <laughs> it was really fun. <laughs> And then, so what did you all do today in the studio? So today we were working on portraits. So we would in the studio we would um, set, up like set up little like scenes and have like chairs, and we would have like like everyone got a turn to be a model and to um, take pictures. And we like took some pictures outside too. Mm -hmm. um, we also edited today. And I thought that was really fun because some pictures that like you thought you really hated look really nice after you edit. Yeah. Yeah, because when I was editing one of my pictures, it didn't look good at first, but then once you edit it, it looks it can look really cool. And were you just like ad adjusting the the brightness and contrast? Yeah. Were you adding filters? Because like, like contrast and like saturation, highlights, a lot of stuff. Yeah. And you can also crop it. Do you think any of you will um, take up photography as a career? Um, I was actually thinking about it. It's really, really fun. I'm really into taking pictures of like nature and flowers and trees. Yes. Yeah. I maybe not like a career, but like, like almost like a side career because it's really fun and it's just relaxing too. Like it with Ellen or like doing it in like sort of like your free time. It's really fun. Cool. Um, well, there's like so many things that I want to be. And like photography wasn't really on my list, but I think now, like, I'm really excited about it. Yeah, me too. Um, well, I definitely learned a lot of stuff that I didn't know before, like aperture and like shutter speed. Yeah, like I used to think taking a picture was you just press the button yeah. and you get it but actually you have to like keep on changing the shutter speed and the lighting for outside inside any different rooms mm -hmm. um also uh it was really funny because like we were all like there were so many great angles you could take pictures at and like we were like laying on the ground or like pressing our body right right up against the wall and stuff Do you 
want someone there? I was. My mom is a photographer, so I was interested in learning more about it. Not really. Like, I knew how to take a picture, and I kind of knew the different parts, but I didn't know a lot about the different settings that we learned. Mm -hmm. um, and so that kind of introduced a whole different aspect of it that I had no idea even existed. Do you have a, a, a new appreciation for your mom's work? Yeah. I always got mad because she was taking so long, but now I see why. Yeah, it's complicated, right? <laughs> Um, my favorite part was going to Boston Common because instead of having to do stuff inside and kind of be like locked into one area, we were able to kind of explore. Um, and taking pictures outside is kind of a different experience. So it was a little more fun, I guess. Cool. <laughs> um, we took, we were mostly focused on landscape pictures. But I also did a lot of like nature close-up pictures, um, which they those are two very different things. But it was cool to see how they changed in just one place. Um, I would like to. I mean, even if it's just as a hobby, because I liked it. <laughs> yeah, I liked that we didn't focus on just one part. I thought it was cool, even if it was just a little bit like smushed together. Um, I liked that we got to cover everything rather than focusing on one part. Fun hobby. Once once you get once you try it, I think most people really like it and stay with it. Yeah, I think it's very enjoyable to do because you can just be very creative and well, we learned a lot of things. We learned about like editing our photos and learning how to take them in certain ways in different settings and how to use a camera. All the things like are the base of all the things you would need to know for yeah like professional photography. I definitely think it will benefit us for our future when we, if we want to do more um, picture yeah. photography. I prefer it as like a hobby because I think it's very enjoyable. I, I could stick with it. So we went to the Boston Common uh, to take lots of cool photos and that was just really fun because we got to get um, I don't know, we got to see a lot of cool things and take really cool photos. Yeah, and I think it's it's easier than you think it is because it looks really hard to take a photo. I kind of think though, I kind of disagree, because it kind of seems hard because there's a lot of work to go into it. Not so much as taking the photo, but to perfect the photo and to make it look as best as you possibly can. Um, I ha started taking photos in 2014 and I have a camera but I don't use it that often. I typically like using my phone better, probably just because of the larger display, but cameras also have really cool features as I discovered this week. <laughs> um, I like nature photography a lot. I do like portraits but I, my camera isn't that good for it, um, but I got to do that this week so that was nice. <laughs> Um, I enjoyed learning about um, composition, so like how photos are laid out and um, for example like the rule of thirds, um, so like the grid on the camera and how you want like the focal point to be like to one side, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, we were using Lightroom, um, so that's, yeah, you can um, adjust different um, aspect of the photo, so like contrast and exposure, which you can also do on the camera, but in case you don't get it right when you actually are shooting it, then you can um, redo it in Lightroom. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah um, it's fun, it's a good, yeah, like you can take photos of lots of different things and it's just a good way to convey like emotion or just, or just like capture a feeling or a moment or something, yeah. I was thinking, because I want to be an author, but I don't know if that will work out. Um, but I, yeah, I would like to do that 
possibly professionally, but I have to find out more about it. Um, it was really fun. <laughs> yeah, it was really fun, and I learned a lot more about it. Also, you could use this for a platform. Wait a minute. Look at that. We move Okay. Um, that was pretty good. Yeah, it was a lot of fun. I love just being with like kids and youth. I think it's so much fun. And I love photography, so it just I put both together. And the kids were just great. They were a fun time. Yeah, I liked how everyone was using different techniques to like show their creativity. Yeah, I'm in I'm in a photography class at my school, but I also just. Sometimes if I go on vacation or if I'm bored, I like taking pictures of things. Uh, me, I'm slowly but surely trying to make it as a photographer, so we're getting there. I've been doing it for about a year now, so it was a lot really useful already having the skill set there to help them. My favorite day was actually today. Like, I love Boston Common. It's a fun time. But today I just feel like the kids already, like, they had already more knowledge on how to do things. And my favorite part of the whole photography process is editing, and we got to do a lot of that today, so that was fun. And they just had a fun time learning how to mess with all the contrast and all that things on there. And I also really liked going to Boston Common because I felt like the kids really had fun figuring out uh, which things looked best when they're photographed and sort of using the settings on the cameras. Definitely, I know a lot more, like, I definitely know how to like plan an entire, how do I say this? What's the word? Like a, like schedule? a course or a schedule? Yeah, like a course, pretty much. A schedule for a course and know how to make like all the lesson plans. That's the word. I know how to make a lesson plan now. Heather helped me a lot with that. I can set up the PowerPoints. I know how to keep them engaged and teach them so I can take that with me. Where and I go. I'm getting more experience sort of working with kids and trying to get them to cooperate. Um, I know whatever I uh, plan on doing in the future, I'm still figuring that out, will entail me dealing and working with kids or just young people in general. So this was great practice to start off. I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> That's perfectly fine. Um, and photography, are you going to keep taking pictures of both of you? Definitely. Yeah. Even if it doesn't become a career, I'll definitely still have it as a hobby and something that I do in my free time. Oh, absolutely. I mean, it's a great way, like, obviously, kids do need a break from school and everything, but if you have the time and you want to, like, I would definitely suggest parents get their kids to come here. It's a great way to make new friends, keep engaged, like, get the mind flowing and learn new things. Yeah, and it can also teach, like, important skills that kids can use when they grow up and even pursue as a career. Thank mm -hmm. you.